Hey everybody, I'm sitting here in the Advanced Technology Center room 301C. A buddy of mine brought me this power supply to check out. This is an old server power supply. That was made in 1991. The thing is old as I am. This is the cover to it. Of course, your, your typical caution sticker, that kind of stuff. I don't have a sticker available that has the outfits on it, but anyways, let's go ahead and have a look at this thing. This is the back side where the AC goes in. On this side, we have a switch here. It's like an AT design. Basically, the AC comes in through here, and this is the EMI filtering stage. Look at the size of these components. Extremely huge. Extremely large X cap. These X capacitors are usually the same typical computer power slides are about a third of that size. And look at the size of these inductors. They are absolutely huge. This is about double the size of your average size EMI filtering inductor. The white caps in this power supply are orange rather than blue like you like what you typically find in newer power supplies. There are two here and two more behind this inductor. And here's the OEM, it's an Aztec. This power supply has a mixture of Nippon Chemicon and Nichicon capacitors. None of them are bulging, but the thing about electrolytic caps is over time, this is especially over 22 years, they can lose their capacitors and they'll have to be replaced. But anyways, it's kind of strange how this thing is designed. We have the EMI filtering stage over here, and over here is the primary caps. These are 250 volt max 1200 microfarad caps. Absolutely huge. I mean, extremely large capacitors. And have a look at the size of this MOV. Extremely large. But there is the bridge rectifier. It is ginormous. And look how it's designed. It's almost like a surface mount component in a way. I'm trying to figure out exactly how it mounts to the board. I think it actually mounts. The leads are actually under this thing, and this has a big heat sink. Right there is the fuse. This thing is gigantic. And here's a closer look at some of the other components. Again, there's a power switch. It has an 80 millimeter fan, and you're going to be surprised to see the brand of it. Here's a look at that fan. Normally, you don't see Canon on a fan, but this one actually is branded Canon. It's a CF80-T212N3D, 12 volt, 170 milliamp fan. And of course, made in Japan. I tell you, it's the first time I've ever seen a Canon fan. Anyways, here's a closer look at everything. And what's surprising is how this thing outputs power to the computer. It has this single cable that supplies power to the main board. And the hard drives actually plug into the main board. At least the power cables do. Very unique design. This thing is built like a tank. I imagine if it was plugged in, it'd still work. It does work? Yeah. Let's have some history about this thing. Um, found a couple of them. Well, I had a buddy of mine who had uh, two or three of them out in the barn. Yeah. So we picked them out. The whole cup, the whole uh, case is made out of aluminum, actually. Aluminum? The motherboard's about so big. It carries eight hard drives down along the bottom. They're, uh, instead of the one inch thickness, they're about one and a half inch, 210 megs a piece. Wow. And they all plug up. They appear to be IDE in the plug that goes into them. Uh huh. But you've got two of them, and you've got this longer plug almost looks like a SCSI. Wow. That some of it split off. That's cool. So that you have one big plug that goes down to a pair of what look like IDE plugs. Yeah. That run the two. That's cool. But, uh, some kind of weird proprietary uh, hard drive. <laughs> yeah. Raid array system. Can yeah, I, I can imagine trying to replace one of them hard drives back in them days. It'd be fun, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. but yeah, this thing is built like a monster. 
whenever it fires the hard drive, it fires up four of them, and then about a half a second later, it triggers the other four, so you don't have that really big pulse. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice idea that way you don't have a huge surge of current right then and there, because hard drives do pull a lot of power when they first come on. But yeah, anyways, as they um, look at this power supply, again, there's a look at the cover. And thanks for sharing that with me. No problem, brother. So anyways, and the question or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.